I give up. All right, let's let's <laughs> let's go look at some real robots. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, so uh, we're gonna uh, talk to you guys a little bit this morning about uh, Ava. Ava is uh, a prototype platform uh, that we put together over the last couple of years, uh, essentially a robotic concept car, if you will. So what Ava is all about is autonomous uh, mobility and navigation. Right? So she is able to uh, go into a space, map that space, understand where she is within that space, and then get from point A to point B within that space without running into people or things. The first key to Ava is her mobility. So she has what's called holonomic mobility, which means she can rotate in place, she can straight side to side, uh, she can move forward and backward, um, she can move you know, diagonally, basically any, uh, any direction while maintaining any orientation. So very human-like movement. We have these contact bumpers, so if she brushes against something or something brushes against her, she'll move away. Uh, we have some cliff sensors underneath. Those are so that she won't go zooming off the top of staircases, very similar to the way it will not do that. Uh, moving up, we've got several sensors here. Uh, so these two windows in the front are for a laser scanner and a sonar scanning sensor. So uh, basically those are the two sensors that are the primary mapping sensors. So when we bring Ava into a space, uh, and we want to make a map of that space, these are the two sensors that are used to do that. Uh, moving up, we've got this uh, vertical articulation on the platform. So this is one of the uh, things we thought about that you know you might want to have interactions with someone standing or with someone seated. Uh, in addition, we like to be able to get her nice and low when we're driving so that we can get a nice low center of gravity and maintain you know sort of human walking speeds. Give you a very quick tap, she'll turn and look at you, very similar to the tap somebody on the shoulder, they'll turn and look. Uh, if you do a longer push and hold, it's kind of the get out of my personal space uh, thing. In addition, you can, uh, the, the up and down buttons, if you pinch them together, she'll kind of do this rotate towards center uh, feature. And if you do that right in the front, she'll kind of come along with you. We've got some, some audio stuff here, microphones and speakers. Um, and then the real uh, key sensor for uh, our ability to detect and avoid obstacles is this sensor right here. And there's another one. Uh, underneath uh, this piece, which we call the shoulder. Uh, those are uh, 3D uh, sensors that are made by a company called PrimeSense, so very similar to what's in the Xbox Connect. So this is the CAD map of the, the area that we're in that we got from our building facilities folks. If I want to send a robot somewhere, it's as simple as touching that spot on the map, saying, send robot. So she does a couple of things. She drops her head down and maybe see a little center of gravity. We've got this. Uh, visible camera in that prime sensor that's on the chin, if you will, of the robot. And as, as you can see, the icon updating on the map properly. And this is a, uh, an Android tablet, so you know, showing again that we're tablet OS agnostic. There's nothing particular to iOS or Android about what we're doing here. I'm going to uh, connect this application, and you'll see immediately I get a 3D model of the robot, uh, put in a coordinate space on the, on the uh, tablet. The robot is taking the pictures with the prime sensor right now and it'll stitch those together so that I get 180 degrees of depth information. You know, this is a, an early uh, look at what this could be. Um, you know, you notice some issues. There are shadows behind things, you know, because the camera can't see behind things. Uh, but using this, I can now control the robot in that interface just by dragging it, you know, where I want it to go. Um, very similar to a lot of video game interfaces. How much would an Ava cost? Our goal at first is for the sort of price points that the B2B markets, the you know, retail and security and uh, office telepresence type of markets would support. Uh, we have not announced launch dates right now. Our first application will be uh, in the healthcare space and we are working that right now, but we have not announced the launch date yet. The thing that will sell the most of these robots is probably something we haven't thought of yet. But, you know, when we can get them out there in quantity and get, get them in developers' hands, somebody will come up with something amazing that will sell tons of these robots. Right? Same way Angry Birds sold a lot of iPads. You know? If you want to take a quick look at the way you might be working in the future, be sure to keep your eye on Ava. And uh, it's Adriana and Mike from Technobuffalo.com. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.